Now here yeah, you don't put in his name and password. So him see there for the clone. You don't know what thing happen for background. You don't know say for the background now. Express server don't go span one Chrome. We don't go open the original site. Type in the username and password already. Can't hit enter to come get to the two factor section. And now for this two factor section, an idea way Puppeteer can play role because Puppeteer get one particular method we would call listing. So Puppeteer if you know when change of domain don't uh, of um, URL don't change. If make we see the puppeteer when you open them before, it been the home page. You don't put username, you don't put password. Now with the change, the page don't change. Puppeteer don't notice say we don't log in and we do two factor authentication page. Now now this particular point when puppeteer could can send the response. If it's a two factor authentication, that means if say the username and password they legit. Ungbano go request make page two. They should. If not, you go fi show you page three. Page three go fi be another page with the bank, the original bank they show. Maybe if you put details when no correct, the original website they show you say come this was this this one you put no correct. Oh. That one fi be page three, but the page two now when it correct and that page two now now waiting the thing will come update the mark. So mark now still there for here. You don't drop legit details. Puppeteer don't carry legit details. Go login for the legit sites. Legit sites don't see say now nah, two factor is needed. You don't go whisper to the express. Express don't go back again. You don't serve the clients with, you know, a two factor page. If you look at here, like you see, I'm well. The clients don't come. You don't put in username and password for the original. Um, sorry, you don't put username and password for clone for fake website. So the fake website don't carry this original username and password. Carry and go create Chrome browser. Chrome browser don't put them now for the original banking site. Original banking site now don't say, hmm, this is legit though. Now original now original username and password. I know these people. Mbabu gonna give me your two factor. Two factor now I go con trigger express server. Express server will come go back again. Con serve another clone to this same client. So this client now, this pre or this Mac, you see they see clone, but you don't know saying that clone is there. You don't put username, you don't put it into factor. You understand so now most times this two factor are sent as sms or email so clients that if you say if it's not a work like it did the replant of university puts eye to no see these sites will be real sites because one they don't really mount fear and pressure the fear and pressure now when they call the turn and say ah make you come cancel so and so transactional so for in head now you won't go cancel the transaction you don't want if they check if the domain the original one or no be original one because they don't really mount fear and pressure now, now for this particular point, now we will be say the person will come put in the two factor authentication. See, I mean, when you come put in two factor authentication, now there another script you come click transfer, put in amount where you want transfer from the person account, click send. Now, most times they will put loading for the two factor authentication, make it be like say the page till they load, never load finish. Only for the thing to contact, you put your two factor again. Now, some bank don't solve this problem, they don't tell you things like. This two factor authentication code is approving and authorizing the transfer of so so and so amount of money. But some bank, you no, know, they even state say this two factor now, now for to do something, no, to do transaction, no, they need a talk. So they, they just usually say, put this is a two factor to complete whatever you're doing on our website, not knowing say who they really do this in our property. And property don't click transfer to transfer the life savings of this prey. Now, at this point in time, the prey will come put into factor again. Only found to come see one very heartbreaking message. In money, don't finish. So what to make me they explain this story now, give you now. You know, say for the world of tech, they get plenty, plenty dark exploits where they go on. And at the feel say this might be the only way I can teach people survive security. Survive security no be something where they nice so oh. meaning say no be good good stories so. Oh. It will usually the story of how the evil people they perpetrate. How did they actually they do that thing where they do? Now from there you will come the think. So for this whole story, what I don't hear so now, how you go feel protect yourself? Protection number one, make sure say you they tell your user say you will not send them a link. Sometimes it's not advisable sending people's link on their SMS. But sometimes when we get some scat some certain password recovery messages, SMS recovery messages, and so on, we go on send. So if you send people message, it means they might not be able to differentiate what you sent them from what efficient site is sending to them. So what you can do is to one, put a bot detection system. You see for that site where the bots, the puppeteer could call need to open the original site. For instance, when the clone don't carry the person details, you will need to span server to open the original site, can't type in username and password. 
You can stop this from happening by having a bot detection system, like a catch bar. Catch bar, and that's where you go put for your site. So if you say, if person open the site, if, if you say the, the pros is no legit or something, they fishy, like pros is no legit, too many IP don't they make this, um, uh, too many requests don't they come from this particular IP. Maybe not process server where the person go by, or maybe think on notice the device, not be real device, na na robot, na puppeteer, you know, na script. Now that particular point where the thing will tell you, say, I cannot say, I cannot authorize. So it means say the hacker now no fit gets to the position of two factor authentication because he get one anti bot with on blocker. So you see, say you now we be fintech guy, now we be programmer, don't understand, say you need Google Catch Bar. Now go to Google, type with with the call. Now this capture now will help you save you from any to a consign bots. So instead of you now to go through that whole problem where you're going to get issues with bots, with this catch bar now, you don't save yourself. So if person can write puppeteer now, where we can come now, can they do transfer for people accounts? And you know, no be you they authorize this transfer. Now this thing now will can help you protect that kind of problem. The second thing we go figure to protect yourself now for this kind of scenario. Now so they make sure you see your, your OTP they described. For instance, this OTP is to log in. This OTP is to authorize a transfer. So anywhere where scripts don't go try to the transfer person money, the person don't they are aware. So you don't see say the knowledge of cyber security now to teach you what in bad people they use something to do. So to can also teach you how you go figure to protect yourself. So if you like the Toriwa Yanuna for this whole advanced fishing, make sure to let me know for the comment section. This is Daniel Kirk.